What's up guys, it's Globe here and welcome back to another top 10 within Call of Duty. This is the series where I count down the top 10 with pretty much anything within the new COD or basically anything. I just count down the top 10 good stuff within different things in Call of Duty. But in today's episode, we're going to be counting down the top 10 weapons I want within Advanced Warfare. This is what I want, and I feel that these weapons would particularly work out in Advanced Warfare, in my opinion. I usually took most of these guns out from uh, preferences of uh, what people wanted. So I pretty much just averaged out the guns that people wanted out in Advanced Warfare or pretty much the favorite guns from Call of Duties and I averaged it out to find which is the best and then I put it in this list so hopefully you enjoy if you enjoyed at any point be sure to drop this video a like and tell me down below in the comment section what 10 weapons or what 5 weapons you want in Advanced Warfare but before we start this video I want to give a big shout out to Remain Focus as you can see on screen he's the designer who made my background and he still continues to make my background uh, so thanks to him you can also check out his channel he does Call of Duty gameplays and live videos as well just like what I do and he also does make background so hit him up if you want a new background for your YouTube channel but to start off with with the top 10 list, we're going to be starting with number 10 for the weapon I want within Advanced Warfare, and that is the Galil from Black Ops 1. I will have images of these guns popping up on the screen. Now, the Galil, why I want the Galil is that because it was, I got to say, it was a fan favorite in Black Ops 1. A lot of people did enjoy it. Basically, I would say it's kind of a low recoil, high assault rifle. Uh, basically, this whole list is just some machine guns and assault rifles and a few snipers. But apart from the Galil, the Galil I just found was just a strong, versatile assault rifle. Pretty much, even though it did have a bit of uh, high recoil, it did have high damage. And it pretty much would take the enemy out in a few bullets. So, I definitely would put my Galil at number 10. For number 9, I have the PDW from Black Ops 2. Now, the reason why I put this at the bottom of my list is that I feel that the PDW, in my experience, wasn't too good because you could only pretty much use the PDW at close range and anything from medium range to long range, uh, some machine guns would suffer. And if it's got anything to do with some machine guns, you want to obviously get the best at close range, but you obviously also want to get the best range at long range as well. So I decided to put that at number nine because it was a very good versatile rush weapon, but not, a, not as good if someone was pretty much hiding in a room upstairs where you couldn't get him because the recoil would just be too much. Moving to number 8, uh, which is the MTAR from Black Ops 2. This is another assault rifle uh, as well. This is from Black Ops 2, and this is the MTAR. I find the MTAR uh, just to be a good weapon in Black Ops 2, because not only was it fun to use, but it was very good. It, it did have a high rate of fire, not that much damage, but when you used it and you started to get on these high streaks, you definitely felt like a powerhouse. So I put that on number 8 on my top 10 list. So moving over to number 7, we have the Commando from Black Ops 1. This is another Black Ops 1 assault rifle. This Commando, you could say, is kind of like the MTAR and kind of like the Galil, except it doesn't have any recoil whatsoever. It does have a little bit jitter recoil here and there, but it isn't as much if you compare it to a Galil or the Type 25 or a different weapon. But I've got to say, I've got to put it up there in my list because it does have very high damage and very low recoil, and it's just a good assault rifle to have. Moving over to number 6, we're going to be looking at the AN-94. Now, that was what I was using in that gameplay, and that, bas that basically that weapon, I guess you could compare it to the Galil a bit, or even the Commando, but basically it shoots a bit slower, but because it shoots a bit slower, it has high damage. So you can compare the AN-94 uh, towards the Remington as well if you want. It's kind of more similar, but the AN-94, in my opinion, just feels a lot more smoother and it's just a great weapon to have, and you, you can just pretty much get on those high streaks with an AN-94. So I put that as number six on my top 10 list. Moving up to number five, we have the Intervention Sniper. Now, I did want to add a sniper in this list that I did want, and I happened to find it to be the Intervention. The Intervention Sniper comes from Modern Warfare 2, and I decided to add it in because it's probably one of the most funnest snipers I've ever had. Before I started making YouTube videos, before I started doing any of this, I was basically a sniper, and I thought the Intervention was one of my, fo my, one of my most favorite uh, snipers to use in pretty much Call of Duty in general because you could trick shot with it and whatnot, but I just feel that it's just a good overall weapon to use um, and you can also pretty much aim with it in fast so if you're quick scope or whatnot the intervention is a good thing to go but I know some people might argue they might want the blister 
or the DSR or something. But personally, I would like to see the intervention come back. So that was number five on my top five and my top 10 list. Moving to number four, we have the ACR from Modern Warfare 2. And if you've never played Modern Warfare 2, I guess you could say the ACR is basically like the Remington or I guess you could say almost the AN-94 without the slow bullets coming out. So basically, it's a Remington, except it shoots a bit faster, and it pretty much has zero recoil, and it was the go-to assault rifle for getting on nukes and high streaks on Modern Warfare 2, and that's exactly why I added it in, because it's a versatile assault rifle, and it just gets the uh, it gets the job done very easily and very quickly with the assault rifle, and you can just get on those high streaks very easy. So I put that as number four on my top ten list. Moving to number three, we have the Og assault rifle. Now with the Og assault rifle, I decided to add this in, and this was also on Black Ops One as well. I think this is about my third assault rifle in Black Ops One. There were so many good weapons in Black Ops One, but the Og I decided to add because it was a very fun weapon to use. Even though there was so much high recoil, it was very rewarding getting a kill with this because it does have very high damage, and I decided to add it in just because it's a good assault rifle to use. So that was number three on my top 10 list. Moving over to number two, we are looking at the MP7 from Modern Warfare 3. I decided to add the Modern Warfare 3 variant of the MP7 instead of the instead of the other Call of Duty MP7s such as the one in Black Ops 2 because I felt the one in Modern Warfare 3, a lot of people would regard it as being overpowered, but it was such a good submachine gun to rush with because it obviously kills the person in close range or the enemies at close range very, very quickly, very easy. So it's a good rushing weapon to use, but at long range to medium range, you could easily kill someone with this weapon. And that's why I put it at the number two spot. It was just a very good, versatile uh, submachine gun to use within the game. So that is number two on my top 10 list. For number one, we have the MSMC from Black Ops 2. A lot of people would disagree for this weapon, I guess, for being number one, but however, this is my opinion for my top 10 list. And I decided to add this in because a lot of people love the MSMC, and I was averaging out uh, favorite weapons from different games, and I thought the MSMC would be number one because I've got to tell you, everyone in Black Ops 2 used this weapon. This weapon, or the submachine gun in general, is just a powerhouse. It will kill someone in close range very easy, and you can pretty much outgun anyone at close quarters with this submachine gun. Uh, but when it, but when you hop into about long range and whatnot, even though a submachine gun is not not meant to hit that range. Usually you'd like to see a submachine gun perform well at long range, but this submachine gun doesn't really cut it at long range. But if you were much of a rusher person like me, it definitely hits the spot because it's such a versatile weapon to use because it definitely dominates uh, all other submachine guns at close quarters. Hopefully you have enjoyed the top 10 video for today for what weapons we want in advanced warfare. As I said before, this is my list and this is what I feel I want in the next Call of Duty, which is Advanced Warfare. If you have enjoyed, be sure to drop this video a like and tell me down below what weapons you want to see in COD Advanced Warfare. And I'll catch you guys later. Globe out.